We are in a time and a generation where everything seems to be unraveling and there's so much hate and there's so much defeat and there's so much depression and there's no hope. I can turn on the news and I can see the gangs shooting each other. There has been so many murders in our city this year. It's been bizarre. There was a, you know, there's been persecution on another level for Christians. It seems like what I used to read about in the Word of God is now on a high across the world that if you're a Christian, you're a target. The enemy is lying and he's stealing and he's deceiving who people truly were created to be. And we live in an area where there is sex slavery for little children and they're literally standing on our street corners half naked and being sold into slavery. We have prostitutes that are freely and able to just prostitute themselves out because nobody has showed them that they are worth something, that they're valuable, that they were created in the image of their God, their creator. Creator. You see, I am broken inside because there's young men that have no fathers, that nobody has ever come along and said, it's okay to be a man. It's okay to stand up for your family. It's okay to build a home. And that's a good godly thing to do. I'm upset that women are so independent that they don't understand their position in the kingdom. And they just completely ignore all the gifts and the talents that God has placed inside of them because the world tells them that being sexy is what's good and that our image and our body image and how we look is bigger and more important than what's inside and the gifts that God has given us. You see, humanity is being lied to and the enemy is stealing and taking away the gifts that God has poured into us. And in our area, in our city, 49% of our city is on government assistance. We are a bankrupt city and God has called us as the Rock Church to come and to be the hope and to rebuild the ruins from the broken places. And I wanna get the message of the word of God, the hope of Jesus, the love of God. They don't even understand what true love is, but we have the answer. We are the answer. Did you understand that our hands and our feet and who we are and what we carry on the inside of us, the Holy Spirit is the one that is gonna go out into these streets. We are the wells of salvation that are gonna trinkle through the departments and the neighborhoods and the families and into the hearts of people. And these penetrate the heart. This love and this hope and this strength penetrates the heart. Now the devil has taken ground way too long. He has stolen our city from us. He has stolen this area from us. He has robbed us of family relationships. He has taken away the father out of the home. He has taken away even now the mothers are out of the home. Children are raising themselves off on their own, hoping they're doing a good enough job to stay alive. And then when we find out who we are, and we begin to stand up a little firmer and go, oh, hell no, Satan, you will not parade our city. You will not take the people of this land. We are gonna take back our territory and every piece that you've taken from us, we call it back now in the name of Jesus. So Satan, we are serving you notice. You will not take place any longer in this city, in the hearts of the people. We call them healed, we call them whole, and we call them saved. And no weapon formed against this city will prosper because we are here to rebuild the ruins. We are here to take back what you have stolen and we will in no way let you conquer because Satan, you are defeated and we are standing up and we are staking our ground and we are saying God has this land and this is his heartbeat and we are standing firm in it. So Rock Church, swords out, shields up, let's go.